welcome to another episode of Drums Guide 2. So, today's subject is based on a quote that I was brought up with, basically, um, that really annoys me, but it's 100% true. Uh, always has been, and whenever I catch myself, I ask myself this question. Um, and it's something that my dad told me when I was younger. I don't even know how old, but I, I distinctly remember him saying this. And I was like, oh, he's right. <sighs> There's always a reason not to do something. It's so annoying, but it's so true. So I just wanted to talk about, based around this, excuses. Because... And I've been guilty of this in the past, but I do see it a fair amount uh, around the place. And that is people having excuses to not do something. And it makes me really sad. More than anything, it makes me really sad because people put these blockades in their own way to stop themselves from... And I get it, it's because they're scared and... You know, they, if they have a valid reason, then, you know, it wasn't their fault. You know, it was out of their control. But, I mean, that's fine. But I think if you actually want to be happy, work towards something, <laughs> a good way of doing that, and when these things, these blockades come up, if you can just say to yourself, like I do, there's always an excuse to not do something, it's a good enough reason to do it. And... You know, people might see me and, and what I do and they might say, oh yeah, but you've never had any problems like that. Oh, believe me, I have. And I've caught myself many times, like you wouldn't believe. So when I first started out, obviously the most obvious one, I don't know whether you'd noticed, I, I don't really because I just see myself as a drummer. I'm a girl! <laughs> now, a lot of people would think that that is a... Well, some people would say it's an advantage, some people would say it's a di disadvantage. At the time that I started playing, it was definitely a disadvantage, and, you know, people have preconceived ideas, ah, oh, well, that means she's no good, and all this sort of stuff. But I ended up sort of, like, turning it round on itself, and using that, not only as motivation, but as a little kind of... I don't know, it's kind of like a little joke to myself. Like, for instance, when I was like 14, 15, I joined a heavy metal band, which I've spoken about. It's my first proper band. I was really excited. Um, and I was this young, very young looking, like, I didn't look like I was 15. I probably looked like I was about 12. Long blonde hair, looking very, you know, whatever, very timid. Um, and we would go and do gigs and we would come to sound checks and there would be three other four other bands on the bill uh, and you could see all these like every heavy metalers like just kicking about and they'd be like who is this little girl that's here uh and i would i just that'd be fine and and you know I, people might speak to me in a certain way and I'd, I'd just be very polite and whatever uh and then i'd get behind the drums and I would smash the kit up and be very loud because that was what I sort of knew I needed to be. And they'd be like, oh, okay. And that kind of response became a very big motivator for me. And I ended up finding it hilarious. I don't get it very often anymore, but when I do, it really, it's almost a nostalgic thing to be honest. And I really love that. Um, equally, I know for a fact that I haven't been called for gigs because I'm a girl. I know that because I, 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 you know, I just know that uh, you kind of end up going, well, that's the way it is. Deal with it. Get on with it. It's not the only gig in the world. Like people will always have their biases for various reasons um, and you will have your own for various reasons. I remember hearing about a gig that I didn't get called for, which I understand that I didn't and it all made sense. But uh, someone else I know did. And one of the criteria was they had to be all the musicians had to be under a certain height. How ridiculous is that? But if you dwell on these things, it's only going to stop you from trying and, and doing your best and doing it for the reason that you're going to do it. And, you know, I, I like I say, I hear these excuses so, so often from people like, I don't have anywhere to practice. What are you talking about? I didn't have anywhere to practice for years. Like, I didn't get my first kit until for the first, like, three years of playing. And then, even then, it was a kit with silences on, so... 
yes, it's something to play on, but it's not the same as playing on a live kit. And then when I moved out of home, I certainly did not have anywhere to play drums. And that was for a good, well, many years, maybe four years. I had nowhere to practice, nothing like that, but I worked with it and I worked around it. And, you know, being called for gigs. I can't do that. I'm not that sort of player. It was like, what? What are you talking? Just go do it. Just go. Just go see what's the worst that can happen. And sometimes it wasn't a great situation. However, I met new people. So there was always something that positive, something positive that came of it. And I think, you know, just let people have their own reasons to not call you or whatever. Um, but don't be your own reason to not go do something and and you know, there's no there's always a way There's always a way and yeah, like I say an artist might not call you because of X Y and Z So what you clearly weren't meant to work with that person anyway Can you imagine being on like the road with someone like that that has that kind of? Preconceived ideas. I'll tell you what go work with someone else Let them see you working with someone else change change their mind that way and they go Oh wow and you know you never know how these things work work out in fact I'll tell you a funny story there was one band that I did work with and we were playing on the bill with someone else uh, and I went to go speak to them and I sort of I loved this band I was just like wow they're really amazing and I got chatting to the singer and um, I can't remember how it came up but he basically let me know that we would never have a female drummer like that's ridiculous we would and like really i mean it is quite rude <laughs> but anyway he was like yeah no, there's no chance like not in a million years anyway not long after that they ended up losing their drummer and lo and behold i got a phone call and it wasn't from the singer it was from the guitarist just saying oh uh like yeah would you be up for coming and you know having an audition and i was like I thought your singer said that you wouldn't have a girl in the band um, and he was like oh yeah no well why could you just come down and audition I was like yeah that's fine and of course I prepared their material meticulously and I was just like I am going to blow these guys out of the water anyway I went down I did the audition and they really liked it and literally the next day I remember I think I was in well I was in a supermarket I think like Sainsbury's or something I don't know um and I got a phone call and it was the guitarist and he said oh look we'd really love you to join the band and I was like that's amazing so I ended up joining for a little bit but it turned out that I mean I love these guys but it was very much after all I was like yeah we're not meant to like be hanging out together we're, like we're just different you know and and these preconceived ideas would still come across from this singer and i was just like you know what nah, it, you're all right and i moved on to something else and i'm like i say this was years ago this would have been i don't know 2005 something like that i don't i don't really know um so yeah the point is is that if i'd have let that preconceived thing get in the way then I'd be like oh, I shouldn't be a drummer then because I'm a girl no I just want to go do what I want to do if you want to have a problem with it fine you go do that I'm just gonna go do my thing so I'll see you in a bit that's kind of the vibe so if you find yourself having some excuse that comes up inside of you just just take a look at it and go right there's always an excuse for something let's work with it let's work around it there's always a way where there's a will there's a way i firmly believe that so just go do what you want to do no excuses and i'll see you on the road <laughs> okay right i'm gonna go enough ranting and and whatever uh but yes anyway hope you're well hope you're having a lovely week or have had a lovely weekend or where whenever you're watching this i don't know and yes if you have any other questions for me then please leave them in the comments or ask me at a drummersguide2.com all right i'll see you again next week for another subject bye